started painting as a kid and my mother really encouraged it. Uh, and I painted through college and a few years after college. And then I quit for about 15, 17 years. Didn't paint at all. My career was in graphic design for many years. I had done a lot of it in 20 years and I was done. <laughs> I really only started painting again last year. Honestly, it was after the election that I felt like I could have done more. I feel like I want to do more. I want to say more. I want to encourage more humanity. Usually during the downtime of my job, which is somewhat seasonal, I travel and take these photographs and write these stories. I take a lot of photos when I travel, a, an embarrassing amount. I take them all with my phone. I, I don't lug a camera. The phone lets me try to be a little stealth and I, you know, I keep it kind of by my side. There's probably three photos on the entire trip that I'm actually looking through it. Most of it is just trying to nab people when I walk by. I work all in oils on linen. I'm recently starting to work on unstretched canvas, which I love. I love that raw edge. I like the casual approachability of it. So I used to work on canvas cotton duck, but then I tried linen and realized how much uh, smoother and how much nicer the surface is. The duct, even though it's primed, it the paint just, you know, dries into it and just, I think it loses a little life. The linen, it seems to sit on it a little better. I never thought of myself as a writer, but a few years back I, I started doing a little more of it. Even though I want to write a story that accompanies these works, I don't want to title them because if you're looking, you immediately have my imposed story on it, like immediately. It, it, I think it gives too much information. I'd rather, I, I'd rather write a book about it. These are some women in Croatia. This was at the end of a really nice day and I was walking around the small town of Korčula. There's two harbors. Korčula is just this small peninsula town and there's harbors on both sides of it and this small harbor faces west and I walked over there at the end of the day and found this little cluster of of uh, people that clearly gather here, I'm guessing, every day. I loved their sense of community and how they, you know, they sit in the light to go over the day. This one is in that crazy stage of figuring out what is finished and what is not finished. I know that I will leave a lot of this raw. I find that I'm enjoying leaving some unfinished areas because I think it gives an entry point to the viewer to bring themselves into the story. I think the balance between some canvases that are filled edge to edge versus some that are exploring their space, it's really me learning how to paint and how much paint to use and what best tells the story that I'm trying to tell, so I'm just figuring it out as I go.